power. But what you do with it, that's what's important. The Apex Games are where the champions are crowned. But the arenas are where legends are made. I said danger close. Once you listen, the arenas are my games. They're not about fame or spectacle. They are about the fight. Arkstar! The rules are simple. It's just your squad and their squad. Adios, champ. Whoever survives wins. Now pay attention. This is how the game is played. Assemble your squad in the customary fashion. Before the fight begins, squads are enclosed in their spawn room and have access to the shop. Here you can purchase weapons, items, and abilities with crafting materials. I will grant you a set amount of materials at the start of each round. You may earn more through your performance. Materials can be used immediately or saved for superior equipment later in the match. No purchased gear follows between rounds. Wait, where's all my stuff? Materials can be used to upgrade weapons, making you an even greater threat. At the end of the buy phase, the shields drop and the fun begins. Both teams engage in combat until one side is wiped out. Downed teammates can still be revived. But in this game, there are no respawns. Use the pressure. It's the only way to survive. Supply bins containing consumables and material canisters are scattered throughout the arena. A single airdrop containing three weapons arrives in the middle of each round. The tier of the weapons in the drop pod increases from round to round. Use them to overpower your competition. It's high risk. High reward. Maybe next time? You should try a different path. The first team to score three victories with a two-win margin will be declared the champion. If teams battle to a deadlock 4-4 tie, round nine is my favorite part. Sudden death. Dotting up some amped cover. Knock down more than a few. Each arena has its own personality and acts as an optimal combat testing ground. The phase runner on Olympus wasn't the first of its kind. A prototype long abandoned rests in a remote section of Talos. Luckily, it remains intact and functional, providing unique combat opportunities to those clever enough to seize them. There's a research afoot. And then, of course, uh, I turn me in. Coma was simply another Outlands hotspot turned yesterday's news until an ill-fated joyride gave it a new landmark. You're welcome. With my assistance, the city has been reignited with a new monument to incompetence. Thank you for this. I feel much better about myself now. I have also secured some viable locations throughout the Outlands to serve as arenas. So gardens and thermal? And don't get too comfortable. The future promises to be a bit fiery. I think someone's here. Oh, oh yes. The a new legend has joined the fight. This little one and I share a common legacy. Pilot blood runs through her veins. This is Valkyrie. Sending down Hellfire. She is as fearless as she is reckless. Friend or foe, make sure you look up as she takes the fight to the skies. Your journey ends here, Legends. The skies belong to me now. The arenas are the ultimate test of skill and resolve. So I have a gift. The Bocek Compound Bow. This precision weapon requires patience and pinpoint consistency. It is made even deadlier with its two hop-up slots. Legends can combine shatter caps, splitting the arrow tip into a shotgun pattern, and Deadeye's tempo, allowing a faster draw when firing at the optimal pace. Master all of this, and you will become a true assassin. You gotta take risks to be champ. The need to prove superiority is instinctive. A 
Hopefully, you can impress me. I'll see you in the arenas. Olympus security perimeter alert. Multiple unknown ships entering secure space. All personnel, please secure docking stations and prepare for arrival. Security forces on full alert. Strap in, Muti. Things are about to get mighty interesting. Baby, there's no shot. There's no fucking way. There's. Are you fucking kidding me? An econ baby. Nice wig. Wow. Look at the fucking unshameless plug. I actually didn't even mean that. That life is crazy, dude. What? I don't fucking even know what to say, big dogs. I threw my phone. I threw my phone. So I need to get that. You and ability. Pro. An e do you understand how big this is, bro? Does anyone understand how big this is? Battle Royale is such a big turnoff to so many players because of frustration issues, RNG things like that, man, third parties. The fact that they're doing this, man, and it's just, it's just insane. It blows my mind because, oh my God. There he is. I will grant our team to score three. Can we talk about this skin? Victories with a two win margin will be declared. Oh my god. Fucking gas. Where's that octane skin at, big dogs? That's what I really want to see here. Uh, bro, I'm just mind blown right now, dude. I'm so mind blown. I can say. Live on stream That I did get to play this I did play test The 3v3 arena game mode I did indeed Enjoy it very much Me like Me have fun Me think very good for game Me want to tell But me I, I cannot tell in detail. So me using very little word. Very fun. Pog. All I'm saying is, man, season fucking nine on top. On top. I don't think people understand how big a 3v3 economy based game mode is for Apex. The amount of people that left Apex due to the RNG bullshit that happens in a battle royale, but always said, Oh, wow, the gunfights are amazing, but I can't take the third party. And, well, there you go, buddy. A 3v3 based economy game mode where it's no bomb plant, nothing. They literally said it's just to kill. Like, there's just nothing that compares to Apex gunfights. And the fact they made a new permanent mode like this, where it's not just spawn in, get loot, Etc. You have to buy your shit and and play smart. Buy meds is just insane. I think this is gonna be so good and so and bring such a new audience to Apex that I'm nervous for the battle royale. <laughs> I mean, look at this shit, man. Like, I think the BR aspect is going to struggle tremendously. I, that's the only thing I think I'm like nervous about after watching this trailer. That's that's really it. That's literally my only concern, dude. It, everything is so amazingly well made. The maps look gorgeous. Everything looks gorgeous here. Like, this Wraith skin is gas packs. Valkyrie looked fucking baller in this trailer, man. She came out thooming. The crossbow looking crazy. Like, man, Apex is just on top, bro. Now I'm thinking about how this Season 9 trailer has a fucking 3v3 arena mode. When back then... These like LTMs weren't even a thought in anyone's head. So now the fact that we went from LTMs not really 
Like, we want the LTMs not really being a thing, and us talking about some crazy ideas of, like, oh, dude, we should get, like, a, a arena mode maybe in, like, Skulltown or arena mode here. And it's just crazy to me that the fact that this came to life now six seasons later is, is wild, bro. It just blows my mind, man. It, it really does, like, how far, how far Apex has come. It, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Because they do... The amount of hate that they get for creating such... You ever see a BR do this shit first off, bro? You ever fucking see a BR do this? What other fucking game would ever do that? Ever, bro. That's insane. It, it's fucking mind-blowing, bro. Because there's no one that does this shit. So, let's read these fucking patch notes, because apparently they're out right now. All right. Arenas is a new permanent game mode coming to Apex Legends as a part of the upcoming Legacy update. It condenses the chaos of 20 squad battle royale matches show down into th more 3v3 co focused combat. You'll face off against the enemy without any other squads coming to crash the party. I think it's a big thing for people. I don't think. I think people stop playing the battle royale because of third parties, for sure. Allowing you to focus on surviving and winning the fight. You compete over multiple rounds, striving to be the last squad standing each time. So there are there is legitimately chat. There is no objective other than kill the other team. Once you kill the other team, that's it. That's how you win the round. There's no other way to do so. Before every round starts, you lose materials earned during previous round to get upgraded weapons as well as the ordnance and healing supplies. So it looks like the buy-in rounds right here: Mastiff's 500, Wingman 500, R99 550. I don't know how the R99 is worth more than the Vault. Maybe just a comfortability thing for a lot of people, but. I mean, shit, I think the Volt should probably be worth a little bit more than the R9, but it's all good. I'll take that. I'll take the Volt at a 500 buy-in. You know, that's what I'm going to be rocking every fucking game, for sure. And you see the Bloodhound Ultimate's worth 350 A Bat is worth 150 Okay. After customizing your loadout and preparing for the round, you'll jump straight into the action with your gear. If you're eliminated in a round, your squad mates will be able to respawn to you, but you'll be able to ready you to fight again at the start of the next round. Of course, you can still revive knock teammates. Rounds are won when you kill all players in the enemy squad. That's so cool. I love that. I don't think there should be a bomb. I feel like Apex is all about fighting. Making like a bomb objective, I think, would be really, really weird, champ. Maybe down the line, we'll see how it feels, and maybe they'll add it in, but I don't know. To win an arena's match, you need at least... Need to win at least three rounds and be ahead of the enemy team by two points. Let's talk about what that would look like in practice. The easiest way is to win three rounds without dropping more than one round to your opponent. In other words, just go 3-0 or 3-1 and the match is over. However, if your opponent is able to win at least two rounds, things get interesting. You have to pull ahead by two full points to win. Isn't that kind of like, it's kind of like volleyball, right? That's how volleyball works, right? Win by two. Going 3-2 or 4-3 won't cut it. Instead, you have to go 4-2 or 5-3. Just kill the victories. So this game can go for a long time depending on how even your team is. I think that's really fucking sick, too. I think a win by two is totally fair. It makes me feel like I'm playing basketball. <laughs> I'm playing street ball again. Originally, we had a best of seven round system for determining wins in arena. Also, the devotion is kind of skin kind of going crazy right there. That's all I'm saying. Wins in arena, but we kept seeing a lot of 4-0 or 0-4 blowouts. These felt terrible for the losing side and sort of boring for the winners. Our new rule set takes a bit of getting used to, but prevents the total blowout games from dragging on for too long. I like that, man. Three rounds, bro. Three rounds probably could go really quick if you just wipe real fast. I think it's going to be a huge thing for Apex as well because sitting in a sitting in a game where I, I don't know about any of you guys, anyone that, anyone that plays Valorant here, but when you're sitting in a Valorant game that lasts like 40 minutes and you're getting shit on the whole time, it is zero fun. Or like you're forced forced to wait like three like like twenty minutes of you just getting absolute decimated and trolled by your teammates is really really boring and it's actually kind of more infuriating than anything I've ever played. It's kind of like a league game too where you're just stuck there for so long. Three three rounds could go really fast. If your teammates are donkey doo doo sin, you don't have to deal with them for too long. Awesome, really do love it. I think three is. Perfect. You can keep easy track of your progress by checking the scoreboard on the top center of the screen on the buy menu. The score widget turns blue when your team is one round away from winning. Red when the enemy is close, and yellow when it's a tiebreaker. The little pips in the corner of the uh, little pips in the center of the widget count the number of tiebreaker rounds that have occurred. The third party tiebreaker means sudden death. So sudden death starts to incline that you have to win by two, which is really fucking sick. Love that. 
Gear up for battle. Win or lose, each round starts fresh with base equipment and some materials to use. Decide how you want to approach the upcoming round by using the materials you get to get weapons, upgrade them, and pick any additional supplies you need. The bar is raised every round as more materials are awarded than the previous round, giving you more options and letting you upgrade further as the match progress. Don't worry, materials can't be purchased. You've got to earn them by playing and completing rounds. Okay, cool. Getting a weapon gives you the base gun with no attachments. Weapons can be upgraded to white, then blue, and finally purple. Upgrading a weapon equips it with all the available attachments of that tier. Fully upgrading to purple will fill out the hop ups for that slot for the fill out the hop up slot for the weapons that have one. Select your preferred optic for each weapon. Upgrading unlocks additional optics for that weapon. So pretty much you see here. They're buying their weapon in, and then you can change the optics accordingly. The only thing you can't change, obviously, would make no sense when I want to do that, is the mag, the stock, and the barrel. But you can change the optics. So if you do get a purple vault, it looks like they're able to change throughout the whole site to the purple vault. Yeah, which is really cool. I think that's great as well. I think this is also going to be huge, depending on what they do or how easy it is to buy stuff. I don't really know the whole economy rating. Um, <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know it. <laughs> um, it could be really, really big for a lot of people trying to practice certain guns. And the alternator does have a hop up. I actually, I'm going to keep it a stack, Chieftain. I'm going to be honest, chat. I have no idea what the fuck that is. I'm going to be real. I'm not even trying to be, like, that's like no cap. I actually don't know what that is. That would be crazy if the Trumpers are back. But I'm guessing these patch notes are not going to talk about it. Weapons don't carry over from round to round. This was something we debated and ultimately we decided on this design for two seasons. To free players up to swap weapons freely between rounds and to prevent matches from snowballing too hard after one round. I love that. I think it's great. I think you're able to swap your weapons accordingly. You don't have to worry about saving the same weapon. If I want to try a PK one round with a wingman, I can go out and I can go back and get a vault or a PK, where the fuck it is, if I have enough money. I don't know how the money works. <laughs> um, but yeah. Use your ultimate and tactic abilities wisely as you have limited amount number of uses each round. Instead of recharging and definitely like other modes, Legend will start with some tactical charges, but additional charges and ultimate abilities can be purchased with materials when customizing your loadout. So... What I'm hearing here is that legends that usually just depend on cooldown and spamming their abilities is going to be nowhere near as good as other legends, it seems like. I wonder what characters are going to be good, like, honestly. I'm, I'm super curious to see what people play. Because buying your abilities, man, I mean, that means you're going to have to buy a, every Watson fence. Right? You're going to have to buy all your, your Octane? Sim, I don't know. That's crazy. That's going to be really hard for a lot of legends, I feel like. Don't worry. Unused ultimate and tactical charges will carry over for the next round. Okay, that's sick. So pretty much if you overbuy but you don't use everything, that's really good. I like that a lot. I think the only thing that makes sense to carry over to the next round would be abilities. Control the arena. You have limited time to prepare, after which the round after which the round will start. Matches take place in some familiar locations as well as new ones. Scattered around the new or scattered around the area. You'll find some supply bins with healing items and a few material canisters, so there will be some pills that you could open, bro, with some heals, it looks like. If a canister is selected, it will award everyone in your squad 200 bundles of materials to be spent in the next round. Oh, killing an enemy awards you 75 materials. So pretty much everyone... Oh, okay. So if you get a little thing in the middle, like the canister, and you get the 200 credits, your whole team gets the 200 credits. Oh, that's cool. So that's the way you get more money than the other team is by killing them and getting the squad materials. Okay, sick. I like that a lot. I like that. That's pretty cool. I guess that gives you the advantage for slaying out the other team. Super cool. But this says killing an enemy rewards you 75 bonus. So if you get 75 bonus, your teammates don't. I guess that's only a you thing. As the round goes on, the ring will start to close and the care bag is filled with upgraded weapons will drop in. Before the round starts, you'll be able to see where the ring will close as well as what other weapons will be dropped in. Strategize with your squad, anticipate where the, anticipate where the enemy will go, and make you move when the round starts. Love that. Also, this looks fucking gorgeous. This is super sick. You'll be fighting in a mix of custom maps in existing BR locations from within Kings Canyon, World's Edge, and Olympus. The design goal for custom maps is to emulate the tactics and strategies used in BR within a symmetrical competitive space. I'm going to be honest, chat. I just got fully torqued up right now because I'm thinking about how good me, Timmy, and Apprise are going to be playing this. Okay, sorry. We'll keep moving. Arenas is first and foremost about proactive combat and that means creating space that gives you plenty of room to analyze the other team, make meaningful choices, and utilize your legend's capabilities to come out on top. With a legacy update, we'll launch with two custom maps and we'll come more and more coming in the future. Yeah, dude. I'm like fully torqued. Me, Timmy, and Apprise are going to be the most annoying fuck squad to ever fight in this shit man holy fuck god bless everyone that comes across our annoying fucking ass holy 
So, Mirage lost control of his ship and crashed through a downtown plaza. Typical, right? Yeah, I mean, fuck. A pro I mean, my man fucking did this. He's like, and he fucking crashed right into this shit. Looks really sick, though, over there. I can't lie. Party Crasher takes place in a luxurious downtown plaza where players can choose to engage on the Crash Voyage or the opulent two-story buildings that make up the plaza. The map is varied, with each side playing different strengths and offering a wide range of options. The downtown plaza is well-connected, pushing players to make quick decisions within its flank many flanking options, while the Voyage sits up high, offering great sight lines and elevated positions for those that wish to play further from distance. Like that, too. Sick. Phase Runner is a hidden... Ex this is gorgeous, by the way. This looks so nice. What the fuck? That's such an interesting concept. I didn't know... That's such an interesting concept to me because it's like... This is the first Phase Runner prototype, bro. That's really fucking cool. It looks like a COD map, low-key. It's kind of be giving me, like, Halo COD vibes. Anyone else? Which one, chat? Halo or COD vibes? Or neither? Am I just tripping? I feel like maybe a little bit more Halo? I'm not sure. Phase Runner is a hidden experimental zone at the peak of a mountain. The large center is very open, offering plenty of long sights to find your enemies. This contrasts the d industrial points of interest, which focuses the combat to be mid slash close range. From either spawn, players can take the prototype Phase Runner to gain almost immediate access to an arena area and begin combat quickly. Construction wasn't completely completed on the other side, so players will fight through the abandoned space that offers various engagement ranges and multiple flanking options. So these are the BR arena locations. Wow. I'm actually okay with these. We got gardens, artillery, and thermal. I think the only one that I think might be dog shit is thermal. But these do play out really fucking well when you're in the gunfights in NKC and Olympus. I think thermal would be the only one that's a little dog shit. But it is kind of... I wonder how far it is on thermal. Because if it's like a thermal where it's only the circle, that would be fucking gas for sure. But please, for the love of God, if we're going to let thermal be a thing, man, take out the up top. Because then if there's a fucking horizon up there or something, there's no way you're going to be able to get to them if you're like a path, if you're a fucking like Watson or some shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, I can't tell. Is that blocked off? I don't know if that's more towards me or more inside of the map. I can't tell. In addition to the two maps, other areas from our BR maps will be thrown into a bi-weekly rotation, giving you five maps total for Arena. At the start of this, you'll get Artillery from King's Canyon, Thermal from World's Edge, and Golden Gardens from Olympus. That shit's called Golden Gardens? What? No fucking shot. I'm not going to Rickroll you guys again. I understand that last time I did this, I Rickrolled 3,000 of you. Get fucking shit on. I can't believe you guys fell for that. But this is way... This is way different. Yo, Reluctant Camel, bro. This is the tier one of Prime for 21. So you guys got absolutely fucking destroyed. I couldn't believe you guys fell for that. But I'm going to be real, man. I'm fine with all these three. I'm going to be real. Bro, give me fucking estates. First off, give me estates. Estates plays like a Halo COD map. Give me estates in Arena. Hi, Sirius. Love you. Give me a fucking estates. Okay? Give me an estates. Give me a Skull Town. Give me a goddamn skull town and give me a fucking gauntlet. Give me a gauntlet. Give me a gauntlet. That would be absolute gas packs. Literally so fucking good. Maybe gauntlet would be a little bit too dicey with all the jump pads and I feel like it might be a little bit more of a show. But I think estates could actually be sick, dude. You now be able to up level up your battle pass in both battle royale modes and arena. Oh shit. Wait, that's kind of sick. I actually didn't know that. I mean, how many of you guys are going to play Arena over Battle Royale? Honestly, like for the first like two weeks, do you think you're only going to play Arena over Battle Royale? Oh, wow. Mix of both. Yes, yes, Arena. Both, both. 100%. Wow, okay. That's a lot of people saying they want to play Arena, man. I'm going to be real. I want to know what y'all doing in, in the viewership. Are you guys going to be more interested in watching Arena? Or are you going to be more interested in watching the grind for rank one predator? Both arena, pred, pred, arena. So I actually am happy reading this because it seems like both hot tub streams. I mean, come on, man. What I'm saying is I like seeing this a lot because you guys are saying both. So that means it doesn't seem like the, the viewership and the player base is like really, really, really um, divided right now. And 
I think my only concern is the cheating situation, man. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous about the whole cheating situation because in a 3v3 arena game mode, man, the cheating could go crazy. Like, I mean, the only good thing about the cheating situation in an arena game mode like this is if the cheaters do infiltrate one of your games, it is a very quick loss. Like at three v three to three, it can't be that it can't be that long if you're just if he's just gonna squad wipe everybody. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous about that for sure. I think this is what's gonna make people play arena a lot of the time. I think the first week, I'm still iffy on what I want to do. If the first week I want to grind for pred or the first week I want to play arena, I actually don't know what I want to do yet. Um. There is no ranked arena, it looks like, so that's not announced yet. So maybe the Predator shit will definitely be worth it for sure. But I don't know, man. This looks fucking crazy. Chat, what are we thinking out here, dude? No fill arena? Oh my god. Imagine. Imagine no filling arena and just dominating. That would be so sick. All right, so I am being told. from multiple people that I can talk in detail. It's just I'm being told many different things. So like this is so confusing, dude. I fucking hate grown-up stuff. I hate it. I'm being safe. So, let me just say this. I can say this. I can say this. I can say this. I think I think I can say this. Had the pleasure of playtesting Arena. Can I say this though? Can I? I'm being told I can, but can I? That's the problem here. A little bit nerve wracking here because lawsuits, <laughs> you know what I mean? Money and stuff. Without saying too much detail, just in case I don't get in trouble, it plays beautifully. It felt great. Everything was really, really perfect in my personal opinion. The buying system, Everything that everything that they talked about here did feel good in game. I'm extremely excited for you guys to see how the maps felt. The maps that I played were very good. I played the maps other than these two. I did not play these two. I did play artillery. Dude, it was incredible, man. It's definitely something that Apex has never done before. The audio was good. Everything was good. Like, the way it played out was not glitchy. There was not one audio bug or cue that I was pissed off at. Everything was really good. The ammo situation, the buying situation, everything. The audio was good, correct. The audio was very good. I'm not kidding. Like, I'm being completely honest. I did not have one fucking issue with the audio. Um, not one bit. I There was not one game where I was like, bro, where the fuck that guy come from? I was able to hear everything perfectly. Everything sounded great to me. All that shit. And no, this is not an ad. I'm not sponsored. I'm not anything. Um, this is literally just me playing the video game. Just know that whatever frustrations BR might bring to you, man, I felt zero of those while playing Arena. That's that. I think that Arena is literally going to fucking blow the fuck up times a thousand. Um, I think it might blow up more than the BR <laughs> If there's a ranked mode that comes out with this for sure I definitely think this might actually be bigger than the BR in the long term for sure I know it doesn't come with ranked But I'm saying if ranked did come I, I would definitely say this would probably outshine the BR for sure You're pretty much just getting Apex without all the bullshit But all of its core mechanics there, aka the gunfights, shooting abilities, everything like the movement, everything's there. And that's what you want in Apex, man. Um, the maps are well designed, everything played out smooth. The games didn't last more than 10 minutes. I'm gonna shut my fucking mouth there, bro, because I'm gonna I feel like I'm fucking up for some reason. I wish it was a little bit more obvious what I can and can't talk about because it's still not 100% sure yet. Oh, I can talk about it. I can talk about it. 100%. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, so I can. Yeah, yeah. What I realized in the arena, uh, Wingman PK, absolutely insane. 
Uh, Wingman PK for the first buying guns were definitely dominant for sure. Um, the PK felt great, but I think the Wingman was actually better. That was pretty much the main start off for this. The kind of meta we did, we were running 3v3 scrims. Uh, me and a bunch of other pros running 3v3 scrims. Um, it was a lot of fun. The main meta, though, was pretty much, it was pretty much Lifeline, Gibraltar, Horizon. Or Lifeline, Gibraltar, Wraith were the main ones, or Wraith, Bloodhound, Gibraltar were kind of like the main ones. The main reason being is that Lifeline, you were able to buy an ultimate, buy heals, and you buy your ultimate, you get heals without buying heals for your team, and then you get also a weapon inside of Lifeline's ultimate inside the game, so you're able to do everything. So you're able to like save a bunch of money, you're able to get wep heals and weapons, and it was really, really fucking cool. So you're able to buy the ultimate. So Lifeline was kind of meta, and actually really, really strong within Arena, which is really sick. Artillery played amazing for anyone that doesn't think it would, it did. Artillery played great. It played super, super phenomenal. It, it was extremely smooth. I did not get to play Gardens. I did not get to play Thermal. But on Artillery, I did play really top-notch gameplay. Felt really clean. Didn't feel unbalanced. And the only... Actually, my best games, my most fun games out of all the maps that I played were on Artillery. I actually dropped a 5.5k on Artillery. Uh, it was super fucking clean. It was insane. Like, that's how intense the game got. It went so many rounds that I went to a 5.5k, uh, which is just crazy. Um, the bow, the bow was extremely strong. Like, crazy, crazy strong. The bow felt insane. Um, no, Val, yeah, goaded, goaded, good character, for sure. Every, every character's good. I mean, I actually think that, I mean, bro, I don't even know what to say, man. I'm so fucking overhyped. I don't even know what to do. Um... But yeah, your armor, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if they mentioned it, but I think your armor is upgraded each round. Like, you don't have to worry about buying armor at all, which is really cool, too. The armor's just kind of given to you, which is dope. But I think they actually, I think Arena right now, bro, I think Arena is going to break the fucking internet when it's dropped. Um... There is not infinite ammo, but look, also, you can see here, you spawn in with armor on the round two. Um, there is not infinite ammo, but they give you more than enough to do what you need to do, for sure. Way more. I have no idea what badges are in Arena. Nothing. Um, and we will be uploading videos very soon. Uh, in approximately, I believe, four days that you will see. Or five days? I don't know. Whatever the fuck it may be. It might be in a week. I actually don't know when it is. But I do have videos that will be coming out for sure. Um, and yeah, man. Let me just say, I genuinely believe that this is going to change Apex forever. I'm, I had so much fun playing it that I'm nervous that it's going to take over the Battle Royale. But I'm not nervous because I don't want it to succeed. I just literally think it was that fucking good, man. And I just can't wait, bro. I can't wait for y'all to fucking see what I fucking saw and play what I played, dude. It was incredible, man. It really fucking was, dude. It was fucking phenomenal. You're not going to want to miss it. And I'm so sorry to everyone that I won clip in, ba in the in the fucking arena, dude. You're going to get absolutely decimated. I'm so sorry for any team that runs into me, Timmy, and a prize. I'm really fucking sorry. Um, to fucking GG's. I really apologize. You're going to get absolutely put in the ground. It's going to be disturbing. You're not going to have any fun. And you're going to get 3 would every game. By my aim assist. By my little brother Timmy. Who I have to put a leash on. And a prize. Who is potentially a cheater. But I'm not sure yet. Um, Spitfire user. So there you go. Um, I love you guys man. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys chat. I appreciate it all. Yeah I'll be going to the gym right now. Getting shredded. I'll be back in like two hours for Apex. Don't forget, in two hours, road to Masters with this fucking hunk of meat. Road to Masters. With this fucking, where the fuck this is? I don't even know how to hold it. I don't know. Road to Masters when I get back, 11 a.m. or 12 noon, PST. Have fun. Hand cam with this too. You're going to... You're going to watch all. I don't understand what I'm going to do with that thing. All right. Well, love you guys. See ya. I'm going to get fucking shredded, bro. Look at that.